All right, so I got the ADNV <clears throat> right now. Uh, easier to drive. It's definitely amplifying more light than I can see. That lights on. So there's an uncommon car. I mean, there's two headlights, but it's just two big blobs <clears throat> of light. It looks like a giant, you know, infinity sign. So high dynamic range doesn't really quite work compared to analog night vision. So <clears throat> that's gonna be the same crutch as previously tested. Digital night vision does not have good high dynamic range. See, that's a giant blob of light. I can't I can't see what that is. It's just a blob. One giant blob, another giant blob, a bunch of giant blobs. But I didn't, I can see one, two, three, four cars, all three, and then one off really far away. Like this blob right here seems like it's really close, but it's not, it's really far away. <clears throat> Problem with high dynamic range, or lack of high dynamic range, I just can't see what that is. And that car is really, really far away. In fact, there's actually a car in front of it. It's being blown up by the other car behind it. So you can see this truck with two headlights. It's this car. This car just completely blew out the other car. I couldn't even see it. This is really impressive. I have like a, I don't know, quarter moon, if that. Let's see. I don't know if it's called a quarter moon, but yeah, there's crescent moon out. And I can see so much detail. I can see those uh, dead branches, whatever they are. Nope, oh, can't change that. Um, yeah, man. I can see the trees. I can see the, the water. Really impressive. Really, really impressive. Now, there's a little bit of auto brightness going on. See, as I like lift my head up, it darkens all this stuff down here. But I can clearly see the shed. So, what's going on? Uh, so this is eye safe mode. Oh, wow, I can actually see the beam. That's not bad. Oh, I should switch, up, switch it to high power. Uh, but I can see the beam inside the luminator. Right about here, the high dynamic range or lack of high dynamic range doesn't allow me to see the beam. But I can see the beam there. I can see the beam there. Can't see the beam in there. But that's not bad. All right, so I got a ball set on ice safe training mode. Oh, wow, you can see the beam in there. All right, yeah, that's nowhere. Nowhere close to mall brightness. So this is a C1 Plus. This is the Hollis and Iris. Still not bad, but it's not illuminating anything 500 yards away. Let's turn this on high, maybe? Oh, there we go. That's on high. Okay, so Mall C1, Iris. Mall C1 is still brighter than the Iris, but you know, for less than a thousand or yeah, less than a thousand dollars, there's something alive over there. I can't, I can't tell what it is, but it, it moved. Something moved over there. Probably a bird. Can't tell what it is. Magnifier. So this is a three X magnifier on the uh, ADNV 
Oh, look at that. I can see detail on the shed. I can see the fence. I don't see whatever it is that's moving. Oh, there it is, that bird. Its eyes were looking at me. So I think it's an owl sitting there. Yeah, this thing right here. Not bad, not bad at all. Some kind of vehicle way out there. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> All right, we'll record both ADMV and analog night vision at the same time. So we're going to look at the same stuff. This eleven is actually pretty good, but not high amount of range at all. All right, we'll record both ADMV and analog night vision at the same time, so we're gonna look at the same stuff. This eleven is actually pretty good, but not high amount of range at all. Are you ready? Stand by. Just going through the IP so I get audio. 100 frames a second. You can clearly see these cows just laying here. Here is the ADMV with the TAD just kind of held in front of it so you can't have thermal fusion. Uh, it's not like weird projection fusion, but you can have a Jerry C or an E Cody or something in front of the ADNV. And this is just a um, high contrast, so patrol mode basically. It works. <laughs> 